everyone, welcome at the new tutorial. Last tutorial I explained the basics of Pac-Man. Well in that game the enemy only changes its way when it hits a wall. And when the player knows that there is a trick, it is not fun playing it anymore. So we're going to change that right away. Let's make our red ghost wander around unpredictable but still smart. Select the object you like to change. I will select the red ghost. We keep the set creation function to set its first steps. Remember the collision with the wall. These settings we will change. Don't worry, if you haven't followed the Pac-Man tutorial, you can still follow along. First I will make a new room to show that this code really works with any room, so it doesn't need to be a maze to be functional. We will delete all the functions in the wall object collision with the red ghost and add a reverse direction, so that any time the ghost hits the wall in its last step, it will reverse its direction. Well, as we don't really want to set the starting function manually, we'll also delete this function in the create function. Well, that's all the tweaking we need to do. Now we only need to add a step event. Step event means that the game checks every frame this kind of code. Drag in an execute code block as we will add in some GML. Sometimes hard coding is a lot easier than using drag and drop. And I love how GameMaker makes it so easy to combine both methods. Before we make all of our if statements, we will start with one if statement, which overrules all other conditions. Note the exclamation mark means not. So if an enemy isn't snapped on our grid of 32 by 32, it will not perform any other conditions and will do nothing. This is important because we don't want to program dirty. Because if we don't check this, the animal would at any given moment be able to change its direction and this can affect collision, animations and so on. Before I continue, I will just set up the skelet of our conditions. So we check if the horizontal speed is zero or the vertical speed is zero. In both cases, we will change their next move. You can always assign if statements on your own. But did you knew that GameMaker has some inbuilt functions? Just click with your right mouse button and hover over code snippets and click on if. So we are going to set a random counter within our if statement. And we'll set it to 3, so 1 on 3 chance that it will be activated. And we need to check if the enemy can go left before we set its horizontal speed to left. You can copy this whole block of code and set the minus x to a positive x. In the first statement we will set the horizontal speed to minus 1 and the vertical speed to 0. And in the other statement, we set the horizontal speed to 1. We can copy the same code for left and right for going up and down. Just we need to change the i value instead by a negative 32 or a positive 32 and adjust the v speed instead of the horizontal speed. Well, basically this is all we need. This was quite easy, right? And just realize you code quite a lot. Now you can test the new roaming random behavior of your enemies. Just know that if you want to see the wall, you can check it to make it visible. Great job! Everything should be working fine. Test your new AI in Pac-Man and see how more intelligent the red ghost behaves compared to the blue and the green one. I hope you liked this tutorial. Like and subscribe for more. This was A-Create. Have a nice weekend. Make more and enjoy more.